Greetings, brothers and sisters. I went for a walk the other day, like I do often, and I saw a man cradling his gigantic cell phone like he was making love to it. He was walking along railroad tracks. It seemed like the only thing in his world was that phone. I felt bad for him. I have never owned a cell phone, and I know that I'm in the minority. Someone told me once that they couldn't live without their cell phone. I told them that I couldn't live without oxygen. Every time I go out, I always see people and their faces are in their phones, as if it's their world. I've ridden buses and have seen rows of passengers with their faces lit up with the blue glow of their chains. It wasn't always like this. I remember before it was. Most people wouldn't look at each other, or in the eye, nor speak any kind of word. Souls that are not owned by Apple and Samsung still exist, but their numbers are waning. I've seen full families standing on a street corner with the eight-year-old child, 70-year-old grandparent, and the middle-aged parents all on their cell phones. I do not know these people, but I think I understand now why they call them smartphones. They are smarter than the people that are using them.